All right, so here we go. And thanks for those of you who've turned up on time. <laughs> and those of you who are going to be a little late, I'll do my announcement one more time in about 10 minutes. Uh, but for the rest of you, welcome. You can see me, Dr. Keith, and my honored guest, Rob Van Bergen, uh, underneath me in my display. I don't know what you're seeing, but anyway, that's no meant to be a hierarchical display in any sense. <laughs> Uh, most of you know me because you're people who I write to regularly, but for those who don't, we'll be introducing ourselves in a minute anyway. And you can see here that the topic is very clear. We're going to be talking about all kinds of stuff that are healed by one of these sort of magic electronic. Have you got one on your desk, Rob? Just wave it for a minute. That's why it's ho <laughs> hospital in a hand, folks. Look at that. I mean, it's just awesome. <laughs> Uh, and we love it, of course. I, I used to have another slogan we don't use so much now, do we, Rob? But every home should have one. Yes. It's the title of a funny old movie about au pair girls, I think. Uh, <laughs> but really, it's one of those things that should be in every medicine cupboard. And it's long history, which we haven't got time for, but it's long history. Is it's partly developed for space travel. You know, when you send guys up into space, you can't send them pills for everything. It would weigh the rocket down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is a, a sort of a one-off solution for all kinds of things. Very brilliantly developed by the Russians, but now taken over by, it was called the Skanar then, now taken over by the rest of the world. And we call it microcurrent therapy, and it is medicine of the future. Okay, uh, well, I'll, I'll do the announcement again in a few minutes. All right, let's, so we're going to be talking about pain primarily, but not only, but let's face it, most diseases hurt in one way or the other. If you've got tonsillitis, it hurts. Uh, we know arthritis hurts and things like that, but most of them do factually. So it's one of the unfortunate parts of getting sick. <laughs> and that's where the pain comes from. But the pain is a word by Hippocrates. It, it was ponos, he called it. And that's the fight, the battle for your body to fight for you and defend you. If that battle doesn't take place, you're done. You'll die. So we welcome the ponos of Hippocrates, but translated into modern terms, that means the pain. Right. So let's get going. Uh, we want to, well, Rob, you should take over some of these. Yeah. Have slides yeah. well. mm -hmm. uh, so I suppose, yeah, what we're going to be talking about today is kind of the systems and techniques that exist already, which most people are aware of and kind of why they're not working. And then we're going to talk about the system, which I already waved in front of you, that can fix those issues and, and, and why it can fix them. Uh, most importantly. And, and as Keith already mentioned, uh, for those of you that stay to the end, we will be making an offer as well as how you can get involved in this if you want to, um, but no pressure if you're just here for the information as well. There'll be lots of information, yes. Yep. <laughs> okay, so like I said, most people know me, you're on my list, but I know people share links and things, and there may be one or two visitors, so this is me in a nutshell, you know, I'm a British trained physician, and I've been at the leading edge of holistic medicine for over 40 years. Uh, I got very interested in electronic healing devices in the early 2000s, I wrote a book, well, I wrote a book in 1999, but the updated latest incarnation of it is called Medicine Beyond. <laughs> uh, introduce yourself, Rob. <laughs> yes. So for those who don't know me, um, I, well, most of you might not, actually. <laughs> I'm Dr. Rob Van Bergen. Um, I have had microcurrent therapy in my life since I was really as long as I can remember. My parents, uh, Dr. John and Laurie Hache, brought the technology um, to home for me uh, in order to address my scoliosis. And that kind of allowed me to enjoy a very pain-free childhood um, after a few years of significant and um, uncomfortable pain. Um, so when I wanted to get involved in all of this, my dad wouldn't actually let me do any treatment of people because I didn't have any kind of credentials. So he told me I had to go back to school yet again. And uh, I ended up going and getting my bachelor's in holistic uh, health sciences. Uh, but that wasn't enough for me. I wanted to be able to do more. I wanted to be able to learn more. And I continued on to get my doctorate and PhD in natural medicine. Um, and my dissertation was entirely focused on something we'll be talking about today, which was the benefits of non-invasive microcurrent vagus nerve stimulation for the resolution of inflammation in the body. A very long-winded title, but you'll see why it's so exciting and important as we get through the presentation. 
Right. So in fact, you did a doctorate in something that didn't, didn't even exist 20 years ago. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so we, we're going to be a little bit harsh with the existing medical paradigm. It's not good. And I think most of you are here because you realize it's not good. There's something missing if you just pop pills all the time. Well, the main thing that's missing, of course, is a cure. Otherwise, you can keep popping the pills. Off you go, Rob. <laughs> yeah, I, I always worry about this. I'm like, are there any medical doctors in the audience? But I think, you know, when people are so aware as they are when they're following alternative doctors like yourself, like they're learning all this stuff already. So this doesn't come as a surprise to many people, uh, but it's important because it's kind of the foundation upon which our health is built um, in the Western world anyway. And this is the problem, right? Because we're taught that there is either no answer or there's this chemical or surgical answer to our health concern. And so from childhood, when we get sick, we go to the doctor, whether we have an autoimmune disease, anxiety, depression, whatever it is, we're taught that there is an answer from someone in a white coat that's going to help us out. And so if you suffer from chronic pain, illness, or disease, you come to this conclusion that you're going to need to take drugs, you're going to need surgical intervention, or ultimately there's nothing that you can do. And that's that's one of the harshest ones that we see for sure. Yeah, definitely. The pill will fix you. Now, my, I must say, my definition of a cure is pretty brutal, Rob. I think, you know, it's, you know, no treatment, no no symptoms. That's a cure. Taking pills for the rest of your life is not a solution to anything. I mean, it means, by definition, chronic drug taking is not working. Otherwise, no. you wouldn't be doing chronic drug taking. You know, it's just, you know, fix it up and it's done. Like, you know, sore throat antibiotic, gone. I mean, I know it isn't gone. There are lots of residual problems but you know what i mean that's a, a silly yeah. kind anyway but where you take pills the rest of your life you know like diabetes they don't say oh we can fix that they say oh we'll manage that for the rest of your life of course and what they don't say is no matter how carefully you control your blood sugar you're still going to die 15 years younger on average not good yeah oops sorry i jumped back i slammed my <laughs> Yeah, and this is the problem, right? Like these pills, as you said, we take them and they have all of these side effects. And, and you can you can always try and find the good in something. I try to be positive. And there is a lessening of pain and discomfort for a while. It doesn't last forever with these pain management drugs. Um, and it may be very minor as well. Uh, but in the end, the trade-off often isn't worth it. It'll shorten your lifespan. It'll numb your body to the existence of a problem. There's tons of different side effects depending on the drug. I th in fact, I believe the statistics from the CDC are that uh, even Tylenol, acetaminophen, 10% of people will develop a nervous system disorder from taking Tylenol. Um, so even these over-the-counter drugs can be bad as well. And of course, impacts on your organ function, you know, de decreased kidney, liver function. These are things that we have to be concerned about too, all from taking a pill that's actually doing nothing to fix the underlying problem at all. Yeah. So when it's not pills, it's surgery. Yep. Uh, quick fix. But if you have back trouble and get a quick fix, you might need 40 or 50 more operations over the next 20 years. Yeah. Fix nothing, hardly. Obviously, if you've got appendicitis, you've got to take it out. That's yeah. the start of the resolution. <laughs> But it's not it's not the, the long term solution that we're looking for, is it? But it's very expensive. You think drugs are expensive? Oh my gosh, surgery! <laughs> you're looking at hundreds of thousands. <laughs> yeah, you're 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 definitely helping them buy their yachts. That's what I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I need a new marble swimming pool. It's time I did some more operations. Yeah, very. I, I <laughs> This is the issue too, right? Is like we're just like the side effects to drugs is complications to surgery, right? So surgery that should be reserved for life-threatening situations, like you said, your appendix is going to burst, get it out of there and you'll actually solve the problem and it will be worth the recovery time. But surgeries on the back, replacing hips and knees and all of these things often brings with it an immensely long recovery time. It's absolutely brutal surgery. Um, and it leaves you vulnerable to needing those more surgeries down the line. There's a, a baseball player I worked with that um, had had 40, I think, different spinal surgeries um, over about 15 years because it was just one after the other after the other. And the creation of this scar tissue 
Um, this brings with it tons of health concerns as well. We'll touch upon scar tissue in a little bit. Yeah, okay. And then this other miserable stinking is, well, we can't do anything. What I mean is, I can't do anything. I don't know nothing about what's wrong. I can't fix it. With the corollary of, therefore, nobody else can, which, of course, is complete baloney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are lots of solutions to things that can't be solved. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah, whenever you hear that, like it is, it's one of the things I hear a lot from people that call me up and they're like, it's, you know, I've been told there's nothing more that they can do. So that's when they start to look because they're like, well, that doesn't make sense. You know, there has to be something. We're in this wonderful healing body that's been able to heal itself your whole life. So why? Why is it not healing? Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Uh challenge it right that's what we want people to do and i think everyone that's here is already doing that you're looking and you're saying there's got to be an answer to something else because we've seen this keith and, and you you've worked with my parents as well for years before with microcurrent therapy like you've seen it too like you can resolve these issues you don't need drugs you don't need surgery right there and there's pretty much always something that can be done to solve these things <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I've ever shared this story with you, but I lived in Spain for three years. And this guy knocked at the door. He got the wrong apartment. Anyway, he, he, he turned out, I, I can't remember why I answered the question. I said, I'm a doctor. And he said, oh, you know, if you go to a party and say you're a doctor, you know what happens. Oh, I've got this pain. What do you think it could be? You know, so anyway, he's knocked at the door. It's the wrong apartment. Oh, you're a doctor. Oh, I've got this terrible problem. And rolled, rolled up his trouser leg and he had this huge ulcer. Uh, what can you do for this? I said, as a matter of fact, I've got something I just picked up last week. Let's try it. And I used the microcurrent therapy device. No, it was red, raw, weeping. By the next day, it was dry. By the third day, you can put the device over the tissue. Well, you know, that will make them leap off the bed with agony. No. Yeah. So by day three, it was healed. And by day four, skin was forming. By day five, he walked away happy, <laughs> very happy. I never saw him again. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, that's, that, that is always that danger, isn't there? When people ask me what I do, I'm like, I import, export medical devices. And then they don't ask me for <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, yeah. oh, never mind, let's get on. With it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is something, I a point that we both want to make, that nature is wonderful. She'll heal anything. If you break yep. a bone, all you have to do is hold it straight for two or three weeks and it will heal over. You end up with a bone that's just as strong as before. If you cut yourself with a massive, well, as long as you hold the sides together, it will eventually stitch itself together. She can fix things. You know, you get tonsillitis. Well, they pour white cells in there. Uh, and you know, antibodies and the immune system gets on the case and within four or five days a week, uh, it recovers. That's what nature does. She fixes things. So what we've got to say is if healing isn't sort of almost instantaneous or very rapid, you're into chronic disease, it means there's something in the way. And that's Absolutely. We're going to be addressing a lot of that today. Okay. Well, and I, you know, I always put the the official statistic on this uh, on this slide. Over eighty percent of all chronic disease, illness, pain is the result of inflammation. But we kind of believe uh, that inflammation is sort of the root of all disease. Um, and this is just the official statistic is eighty percent. Because when we look to inflammation as something that actually wrecks your entire body, sticks around, stops your body's electrical system communicating causes you pain, discomfort, loss of function, then you start to see the answer to that question. Why are we not healing? Well, it's because we're looking like we're inflamed. Yeah. Okay, so no, this, I, I like your dad's saying here, where, you know, you take these drugs and you you molder away and crumble in comfort. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He, he He's like, you're just degenerating in peace. And that's what you're doing, right? You're you're taking off your sad face, you're sticking on your happy face, you're going about your day, but underneath whatever those pills, whatever those things you're doing that's just covering it up, um, are, all they are doing is they're allowing the inflammation underneath to keep burning and actually to burn stronger because your body's trying to get you to notice it and uh, you just don't necessarily feel it. What happens then? You stop taking the medications because you're no longer able to get them, you're not allowed to get them anymore or they're just not working anymore. And the pain is 10 times worse than when you started because it's your body is screaming for your attention. Yep. 
it ain't is unpleasant, but it is a signal. Hey, you've got to do something. Yeah. Uh, oh, we've said this, haven't we? Inflammation. We something have. in the way, and there are various things, but infl- uh, almost all of them amount to inflammation. You know, even toxic substances in your body, that will mess up the, the, the different organ functions and things, but that amounts to inflammation as well. Anyway, wh- whatever way you cut it, as Rob says, it's going to turn out to be inflammation. Yeah. And you've got to deal with it. You know, inflammation yeah. means inflamed. That's yeah. in this illustration. Yeah, absolutely. And I try to, I've used this to explain to people before. My dad had one uh, about covering up the uh, the check engine light on the dashboard. It's, it's ways to try and make you connect with that, the realization of what we do for our property versus what we do for our bodies. And, you know, for me, I'm like, if you walked into your bedroom and your bed was on fire, you probably do something about it. But when you take medications, what you're doing is you're walking in, you're seeing your bed on fire and you're closing the door and going and you're making a cup of tea, right? You're not focusing on the problem, you're ignoring the problem. Um, And the drugs, the medications, these, just leaving it and not trying to address it, these do cause these problems. No one in their right mind, unless they were you know, trying to get some insurance would uh, walk away from their burning house and do nothing about it. But we do that with our bodies all the time. We just close those doors and we walk away. It's it's kind of an epidemic in and of itself. Yeah, that that's the encouragement of modern medicine, of course, scientific uh, uh, reductionist medicine encourages you to don't do anything, hand it over to the doctor, hand it over to the drug company. Yeah, it encourages that whole mentality. Yeah, it does. So it, does. inflammation's the problem. What's the solution, Rob? <laughs> well, let's wave it in front in front again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, microcurrent therapy. I mean, really, it's all about shutting the inflammation down. And and if we do that, we cut power to the disease. Right, just like ripping the root out of a weed, it won't grow back. This is what we can do with microcurrent. Yeah. Yes. Right. So what is it? Everyone thinks it's something. Well, no, that's not true. But, you know, it gets mixed up with other. This isn't you, is it, Rob, when you were a teen? No, no, no. (laughs) no. I was way scrawnier than that. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, it's it is kind of this thing that is it's becoming more commonly known. But microcurrent therapy is it's often confused with TENS devices or PEMF is more well known as well. Pulsed electromagnetic fields. But it's not really either of those things. It is, it is in and of itself its own thing. And, and both of those things may be energy medicine to a degree, but there's, there's a lot of side effects and differences. I think we're going to talk on the next few slides about TENS. We're going to talk about PEMF, and we're going to then explain why microcurrent is so different. Yeah, okay, sorry, I fell behind a bit. Anyway, TENS. Now, don't be too hard on TENS. You know, I mean, it was invented by my dear old friend Norman Shealy. But it is, it's not something I'd choose, I don't think. But anyway. Yeah. I mean, TENS devices, and, and they do have therapeutic uses. I, I was speaking to someone the other day that used a TENS device to control their pain. And, it, and as long as they keep using it, it's like you said, treatment, it's been helping control their knee pain. Um, but ultimately, what we see with TENS devices <laughs> is that there's a thousand times more electricity in a TENS machine than there is in the highest program in our microcurrent device. And this is, the goal of this is to send all this current into your body, into your nerves, and essentially paralyze them. It wants to numb those nerves so they're no longer sending the pain signals in your body. So it's kind of just like taking electric Tylenol. It's covering up the pain um, and it's allowing you, unfortunately, to still have that degeneration, to degenerate in peace. Um, So... There's a lot of kind of contraindications to TENS as well. And we see this in TENS manuals all the time. It's like, don't, that you really want to use it on your extremities. Don't use it near your heart. Don't use it on your head. Don't use it on your neck. Um, these, th- this really can be compounding uh, problems for a lot of people. It's really just good for limbs. And uh, even then you're just covering up the, the issue. Right. You have a, yeah, you have a joke here, don't you? <laughs> if you're alive, don't use tens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's good. A good amount of electricity to zap you back to life, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then P- PMFs or PEMEs yeah. sometimes, you know, yeah, they, electromagnetic yes. energy, same yeah. thing, frequencies. 
Yeah, and, and really it is, this is similar to microcurrent. PEMF actually does add some level of energy medicine to it because it's using lower level frequencies and it's pumping them into the body. But it's kind of doing that over a larger scale. It's saturating everywhere in the body with a signal and it's saying to the body, this is what we need to do. You know, we want to reduce inflammation. But the problem is you hit the whole body at once. And so the body kind of ends up getting confused. It takes a very long time to get the results with PEMF compared to microcurrent because all it's doing is saturating the area. You can't, you know, lock, lock into the nervous system and stimulate the vagus nerve. You can't contract muscles or do anything like that with PEMF. So I, I do think that there are health benefits to PEMF for sure. It's just not really comparable to microcurrent in in the end yeah it's a bit like drug therapy isn't it you hit the whole body you know you got a pain in your foot and you take a painkiller it floods your whole body with this disgusting chemical uh it's a bit like that you're flooding the whole body in just to sort of solve a small part of uh, the body's issues right so what's different then about microcurrent um so here's the exciting yeah. piece right microcurrent is already in our bodies Right now, if you've never, ever used microcurrent before, you have microcurrent coursing through your body right now. Essentially, it is the nervous system. It's the signals our body and brain sends, and it's the, the language of the body. We are electric beings, right? We know, like, again, if, we, if we're dying, we're coding on the table, they got to put electricity in to jumpstart the heart. The heart is electric. The brain is electric. The nerves are electric. What microcurrent does is it harnesses the natural system of your body, which is kind of why we call it natural healing, because really what you're doing is you're sending those gentle signals into the tissue that match the body's own signals. And you then ask the body to turn off inflammation, to trigger an enhanced regeneration, and ultimately to heal the body. So you can harness that natural body process of being able to heal and it's one of those things like you, you mentioned earlier, Keith, you have this kind of treatment um, mentality, right? We, if we're constantly treating, we didn't cure it. Well, with microcurrent, you, you get to the point where you resolve that issue and then you no longer need to treat that issue anymore because you're using that body system and you're just really using the, the natural mother nature healing powers that are within you. Right. Uh, okay, so we... I think this is a great graphic you found here. Years ago. <laughs> but it really is like flipping a switch, isn't it? It's either on or it's off. And you can flip off the inflammation switch. There are various subtle ways of doing that. We're going to share those over the next 20 or 30 slides or so on. Yeah. It, but yeah. the thing is, what it, what we, I don't know if we still have the telephone graphic, but what it is, is like dialing up the brain and saying, hey, you know, I've got some trouble down here in the foot. Well, what can you do? <laughs> and yeah. the knows what to do. You just, you know... <laughs> It's, a, it's so like a telephone. Anyway, we got, like I promised you in the email, we're going to be talking about a family of devices. Uh, on the left is baby bear. In the on the right is mummy bear, and in the middle is daddy bear, the big <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, and so, we, we, what are these things capable of? You know, we explain roughly what it is. What can they do? Well, we're going to share some miraculous record, and, it, and it's not just that we pick the only miracles. Uh, I told you my, you know, the, almost the very first case I did, the guy had knocked at the door and within yeah. five days I'd sold something he'd had for years. Anyway, this is so important. Uh, it, it was actually on the front cover of Scientific Medicine, uh, uh, Scientific American. They started calling it bioelectronic medicine. We call it microcurrent therapy. But look at that. What a claim for the front mm -hmm. cover of such a prestigious mag. Off switch for arthritis, diabetes, even cancer, oh God, I could go to jail if I said this thing was your cancer. The Luckily, FDA Scientific American that. said it for us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so anyway, we're going to be talking about vagus nerve stimulation, which is core in this article, wasn't it? It was. Uh, and, and vagus nerve stimulation has become very popular. Like, I, I, the amount of people I speak to now or hear from that are like, you know, I know I have a problem with my vagus nerve. When 10, 15 years ago, People didn't even talk about it at all, right? Mm -hmm. um, this was, I think, 2014, 2015, this, this issue. 2015, uh, like, this issue, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And what they essentially did is they did a study and by accident, they discovered that by stimulating the vagus nerve, they could actually block production of inflammation, which of course started this whole new thing where they, they went down that way. And the reason being that if they block production of inflammation, they could essentially cure or, you know, we won't say cure, but well, they did. Um, all <laughs> disorders, right? Fibromyalgia, all inflammatory conditions and disease. Uh, C C uh, CRPS is complex regional pain syndrome. I, I have a before and after of that later on in the presentation. Um, but it, it essentially becomes the answer to almost every issue that a person has with disease. Because if you can turn that inflammation off, if you can flip that switch, then you're on the right path to recovery already. Yep. So let, tell us about the vagus nerve. That's a good graphic, actually. It's a gorgeous It's graphic. everywhere. <laughs> it is everywhere. And that is exactly you know what it really means. Vagus nerve translates to wandering nerve, right? It touches everything in the body, from the brain to the guts. It controls these vital organs and it connects them to the brain. The nerve sends and receives tons of signals each and every day. I think it's in the, in the trillions of signals each and every day. Uh, the vagus nerve is responsible for digestion, heart rate, swallowing, coughing, sneezing, vomiting, things that we need to do to kind of live. Uh, but what scientists didn't know until this accident was that stimulating the vagus nerve blocked the production of inflammatory factors in the body. This nerve also, and we won't talk about this too much in depth, but it helps regulate our fight or flight response. So people that have a lot of anxiety, whether it's around their pain and disease, they can kind of get into that parasympathetic state of calm and relaxed. And, uh, and they can, that can pull down a lot of disease symptoms by itself as well. Yeah. Now, this is the orthodox way of doing it. Wouldn't you just guess some expensive piece of clunk and they have to slit you open and clamp it in your body and it's battery driven. So they have to do this every 20, 30,000 for the operation, right? But they know it's only going to last a few years. Then they're going to have to do it again and again <laughs> and again. Oh, what a gravy train. <laughs> I mean, that's it. How do you discover, how, how do you monetize this grand discovery, right? When they, when in the, in the experiment, they were using a little electric probe and stimulating the nerve. And then all of a sudden it's like, hmm, well, how do we make money off of this? Mm -hmm. Well, as you said, slice, yeah. clamp, here's your bill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come back in 10 years, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. uh, all the problems with surgery, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the, the massive cost. And of course, one of the problems uh, Rob is gonna go into in detail, it creates scar tissue. Mm -hmm. And we found in microcurrent therapy, and in fact, all holistic medicine, that scarring blocks me message flows, energy flows in the body. It cuts across the wiring system as it were. So it's making the problem worse, actually. Anyway, there's a better way, which is just to give a mild little current. Go on, let's say, how's it yeah. done, Rob? Yeah, it's very easy. Uh, all you need to do is take the probe, place the probe on the neck, and stimulate for three minutes. Very short burst treatments is what you want to do with microcurrent therapy. And you can access the, then this is where they did it in the, uh, the, the experiment as well, is the vagus nerve runs right behind the carotid artery. So you just simply place the probe there, some gentle stimulation with the right program, um, and you're able to get the benefits of vagus nerve stimulation. Over time, we're training the nerves so that it no longer needs the microcurrent as well. We're getting to that point where your body just does it. And that's what we want. We want you to switch the tone of the vagus nerve to the point where it's able to calm your body down and that in inflammatory factors aren't really as big of a deal um, as they were before. Right. I mean, that's one of the big differences with TENS, isn't it? TENS will train the nerve not to fire. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. Whereas with microcurrent, you will train the nerve to do the job on its own, to go and Absolutely. fire up holistically and healing in its own in its own terms. Yeah. Uh, what, what's neurofeedback? Tell us that. Yeah. So, so neurofeedback is a way of talking, the device's ability to talk with the brain and to actually affect and impact uh, mental health issues. So the, the ones listed there, sleep, anxiety, depression, PTSD, are the most commonly used ones. Um, but in the last year and a bit, we've been working with people with dementia and Alzheimer's and using specifically gamma waves generated by the microcurrent 
to kind of cleanse the brain of the plaque and sort of uh, improve or in one case, one lady even was able to reverse the uh, dementia onset symptoms for her parents that had made her have to move back home from a different country to look after them. So that They now have their own device and she's back off living her life again. Um, oh, so yeah. crazy things we can do to the brain, because again, this is all the natural signals of the body. But this is this is new breakthrough work as well. I mean, I think this is the thing to emphasize that electromagnetic medicine or bioelectric medicine, as Scientific American called it, it's right on the cutting edge. We've understood the power of gamma to tear out all this uh, amyloid plaque and stuff only in you know less than 10 years, five, five years or less. It's all very new stuff. Everything is shifting towards the electromagnetic view of life and health and not the chemical and the stuff view of life and health <laughs> absolutely and this so, is one of the... well tell us what alpha is make sure you, you... yes that's true I should probably do that so alpha is a brainwave um it's one of our brainwave states and it's kind of the state we go into when we're relaxed resting and most importantly regenerating you can't regenerate out of alpha this is our our healing state it's what we digest and just relax when we use the neurofeedback alpha program we can force our brain to change its patterns. So whether it's in fight or flight, whatever it's doing, a lot of the time for people in chronic pain, they are in that kind of fight or flight mode. You're able to put the brakes on that by using these ear clips. You clip them to your ears and you create a circuit that passes the current through the brain. And in doing this, you're overriding the brain's brainwaves and you're forcing it into this alpha state. So right. we can actually Listen, Rob, brain... I don't like your language here, if I may interrupt. Let's talk about coaxing the brain into adopt the, there you <laughs> the go. alpha frequency. It's coaxing. You can't hammer it and bully it. It's, yeah. You and pickle it... it and coax it, and it gradually will adopt the frequency it's hearing. It, it will. And it's more, it, it, because again, it's so natural, it's, it's not like the brain finds it an invasive process. But this is kind of the go-to way people use this to help go to sleep, too. If they're really struggling with sleep... Um, because they can't stop their mind racing, they can kind of use this protocol to to work on uh, on that. Yeah. Okay. Now you did some experiments. You'll have to run us through these. I yeah. think very impressive. All right. So it's a bit of you know open study stuff, but it's still pretty. I mean, you know, all science starts with observation. You observe something. Yeah. You think what could that mean and dive deeper. Yeah, well, we actually looked at this. This was, um, we copied a study that was being done by the National Institutes of Health um, on veterans with PTSD. Um, and they were, as you said, this was a few years ago, they were using gamma. And that was kind of the, uh, the, the one of the things that started that uh, process, or it was already in the throes of it. Um, and so what we wanted to do was just see what we could help with with PTSD. So we put out a call to people in our community and we said, hey, who wants to help us test this out? Who knows someone with PTSD? Well, we got a lot of questions back. Well, would it work for anxiety? Could it work for depression? Um, you know, what about ADHD? Um, so we said, well, you know, fill out these forms. Let us know how it goes. And we copied the study exactly. We did a six week um, treatment, daily treatment for 30 minutes you don't need that long to actually get the effect, but we were just trying to see how it worked. And the results in the end were extremely promising. 95% of people said they saw an improvement in their anxiety, 85% of people an improvement in depression, 75% an improvement in PTSD, and 75% of people said they saw some improvement in ADHD as well, but there were only a really small handful of people there. Um, that So I don't always count that one. Uh, but we did see as well a 90% reported improvement in sleep length. We weren't tracking that deliberately. It's just people would write in their comments, I'm sleeping better. Um, I kind of included that on the chart, but I do think that a lot of that comes down to the fact that, you know, anxiety, depression, PTSD will impact your sleep. And if you're improving the symptoms of that, you're probably improving your symptoms of sleep. But one way or the other, everyone was extremely impressed and it's now become a staple protocol for us. Um, there's mental health issues on the rise um, and people looking to care for their brain in ways that are not just taking pills to change the way it functions. Uh, we are definitely seeing a big influx of this being adopted um, by everyone that really uses microcurrent.
Right. Now, I hope listeners are really getting the idea just how powerful and almost universal this is. Mm -hmm. So many conditions and things that it can deal with. Anyway, we mentioned scar tissue. Now, that is important. Rob will explain. You start with scar tissue, then we move on to inflammation. We've explained how important that is. Why is scar tissue so important, Rob? Yeah. So scar tissue, normal tissue first, it acts as a conductor. It allows the electricity of our body to pass through it. It's, it's water-bound collagen. It's happy. Scar tissue is different. It's like pouring crack, cement in cracks to fill them in, right? That's what your body is doing. It's like, I got to fix this now. And so it knits it together fast. And so scar tissue actually doesn't allow water into it. So without the water um, molecules being able to enter it, the ability for it to conduct electricity is it's just not there. And instead, it actually acts as a capacitor and stores the electricity. So it's like it's capturing emails and, from you and storing them so you never get them. And so your body's missing out on these signals that it needs to do things. So scar tissue can end up compounding and compounding and compounding and making people's health conditions worse and worse and worse as a result of that, just its presence. Because with no signals getting through to tell your body to stop the inflammation or to start repairing that, your body just continues to break down. And scars, I mean, everyone has scars, right? But if they can't communicate electrically, if your body can't communicate electrically, the, the signals either have to find another path or they just never make it where they need to go. Right, now you said something challenging. You might need to explain everyone's got scars. I, I mean, I yes. agree, but why is that true? Well, so even the, so first and foremost, like we look to the fact that when we're born, we have umbilical cords. And so everyone has a belly button, um, unless you're a clone. And in that case, uh, <laughs> maybe you don't have scars, uh, but the belly button is a, the your first scar. Most people will have scars as well. They don't even think about um, many women will have pierced ears, men as well. Right. And the pierced ears, there's scar tissue there. Um, whether you have had any injury ever in your life, like a broken finger or sprained wrist, there's scar tissue underneath in your body that you don't see. The scars we think about are the surgical scars or, or the cat scratches or the dog bites of the world. But we don't think about all of the stuff that happens, whiplash, sprains, sports injuries, um, your broken bones, right? All of those things that can build up. Even tattoos can be scarred if they're not done well. Normally good tattoo artists, you're fine, but there are times when we see that that has formed a form of scar tissue. So we have to consider all of the different scars that we have. Uh, scar treatment is rule number one of microcurrent because once we clear up the body's communication systems, that can be 50% of the work right there. Yeah, now you didn't mention dental extractions, but almost everybody's had at least one extraction and that's scar tissue as well. Yeah. Well, this is how we solve it, right? Like, so I mentioned the issue with the capacitor, it's storing the electricity, but treat it, treatment with the correct microcurrent frequencies will actually flatten and remove scars. So you won't have to see them anymore if that's a concern, but it also neutralizes the electrical barrier as well, allowing the cells to function optimally. And because of the devices, the way we've designed them, they can even reach deep scar tissue that's the result of surgery. Again, treatment of scars is our first rule of microcurrent. No matter what you're dealing with, we're going to say, okay, let's analyze and work on your scars first. It can make the biggest difference. Right. Oh, that's just an example. Just an example. Yeah. This guy, he had uh, gotten, he was a cameraman and uh, we will call, say, anyone have a scar you want to get treated? And he took off his shirt, someone else took the camera, and uh, you could see the bands of the scar tissue after just one, like three minute treatment, it had broken up and the scars smoothed out as the tissue actually changes before your eyes. Yeah, amazing. Right, so we solve the scars, we move on to inflammation, which is the biggie. It is the biggie. So that's the second rule. Once scar tissue is out of the way, we, we look to inflammation. Again, that's the root of all disease. And treatment locally in the area, meaning your wrist hurts, will treat your wrist. This can reduce or eliminate inflammation in as little as one session as well. But remember that you can also go with the vagus nerve and kind of deal with inflammation across the body. And, and in reducing inflammation symptoms, 
um, you're essentially getting rid of the disease um, as the symptoms of disease begin to subside as well. And then with the inflammation gone, the body can actually start to repair itself and undo the damage that's been done. Yeah. And then regeneration, which is fixing things, putting it back how it was. Absolutely. Yep. And with, we, once we can do that, we get rid of the inflammation, we can use the lower level frequencies to encourage the body to repair and regenerate as well. And we'll see some examples of some very fast cellular regeneration soon um, as we get to that point in the presentation as well. Yeah. Uh, now, this is interesting. You can mix it up with other things. You can use, if you know the meridians, you're into the TCM model, you can put microcurrent in at specific acupuncture points and get enhancement that way. I think Absolutely. it's terrific. Uh, it's a very complex system, the meridians. So unless you know it, it's probably not much help to you. But if yeah. you do know it, they integrate very well. And they do. The chakras, for that matter. Oh, well, here we go. So, yeah, it's, it, the, yeah. Don't don't sweat it. You just said it all. But essentially, you can you can use the the meridians are kind of like these electric cables in the body, and and you can use the device to stimulate and repair those cables. You mentioned dental issues earlier. They connect right to the teeth too. The teeth. Yes. Like the uses of the meridian system so it's a very deep dive thing we don't often you don't have a, to need a knowledge of this to use it we look at certain points we'll tell you look you have this condition place the device there but acupuncturists will adopt this technology as well and even use it with needles um to greater impact the meridian system so it's very interesting Oh, why would they keep using needles? <laughs> yeah, they use the needles. It really is brutal. <laughs> you don't you don't have to for sure, but they yeah, they use the needles and they clip the device to the needles so that it pushes the current deeper into the skin. It makes you kind of quiver a little bit, doesn't it? Thinking about <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not kind enough for me. Anyway, we have this model of onboard pharmacy. I think I I think I first wrote about it in 1999. But your brain can you know it understands biochemistry and how your body works. And you just got to dial up the brain and say, what do, I, what do I need? And the brain will say, well, this, this. And the great thing about these machines is when the brain's done its job, it'll ring you back and say, tingling, we're done. Yes. <laughs> That's That's always amazing. fascinates people because they can use, <laughs> they can actually see the, the communication pathways. They can see whether it failed or whether it succeeded. And when they've got that communication going with the brain, I mean, that enhances healing because your brain's then saying, oh, you, you want me to fix that wrist? Okay. I guess I'll get on that instead of just sitting there doing whatever it wants to do. <laughs> right. Now, the word evolution is there just to remind the folks then there are three models we're talking about. The genesis, which is baby bear, evolution, which is mummy bear, and uh, the hospital in your hand, our excellence is called the pinnacle, which is a good name. It's the very peak of this technology. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, and uh, you, we were just talking through it. Don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, and conversing with the brain, we, we did that, I guess. That too. It's the same thing we just said. Yeah, it's the ability to place the device on the body and have the, the body and the device talk to each other and send that signal back. And the brain then works its onboard pharmacy and yep. it knows what it's doing. Right, so we can now boost our mitochondria. Now, 25 years ago, people say, our what? <laughs> nowadays mitochondria are riding high everyone realizes that you know trouble or slug, sluggishness with brain mit mitochondria that's the real mechanism of uh, dementia aging means you're know, losing mitochondria or little uh, i call them the energy bunnies you know that generate energy for us yeah. they're very important so my micro microcurrent therapy can help that too yeah, so we, this is, uh, I, I, I always feel like saying this is a newer protocol, but it's not. It's, we've been doing it for about three and a half years now, I think. But essentially what we realized was that by pump, what originally we were trying to lower the current of people's bodies. So we would kind of ground them. But then we realized that, well, what if we wanted to do the opposite? What if people needed to have more energy to heal? So being able to stimulate the hands and the feet, we use those as kind of the entry points to build up the ATP in the body by strengthening the mitochondria. If we do that, we know that we can optimally communicate. The electrical system is at its peak. It's got enough energy in it and the cells are not breaking down. They're breaching their action potential and they're able to replicate, heal, regenerate. Um, so we found that just 30 minutes of passive treatment, because you just hook yourself up and then you go about your business, 
um, will improve the body's ability to communicate with the brain, improve energy and reduce fatigue, improve muscle weakness, and improve every other treatment we do with the device. It seems to get enhanced results as we went. And this is all due to the optimization of the body's energy and electrical network. Yeah, mito boosters. <laughs> now, we, we, we did a, a specific webinar on this condition, uh, I think it's a couple of years ago, whenever. Uh, but it's, uh, hot pelvis is a term I came up with in the 80s and 90s. A lot of women have inflammatory troubles in the pelvis. It can be inflammation of the tubes, the ovaries, vagina, and it often leads to a lot of pain, a lot of grief, and sometimes dysfunctionality. You know, the woman uh, can't conceive because of these sort of barriers through the inflammation. It's a very big deal. So I asked Rob to put this slide in and say that we can do a lot. We can do an awful lot for discomfort for women. They, you know, the below the belt bit, uh, down but down below there, it can be really bad. I mean, much more so than for men. Yeah, all right, we get prostatitis and sometimes urinary tract infections, but women practically suffer. You know, I, I've said it. I'm not. If I'm reborn, I'm not coming back as a woman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, my wife wishes I would. Then I'd understand what women have to go through. Right. But anyway, the point is, it's remediable. It's almost all inflammatory in nature. And you've heard already that we're extremely good with that. Chronic pelvic inflammation. And the thing is, it doesn't stay there. Yep. It can move into the spine, inflame the nerves. And I've seen cases of it. inflammation in the pelvis is actually the cause of multiple sclerosis, paralysis. The person had it in their, their legs. I mean, the pelvic problem, but the paralysis in the legs. It can be a biggie, biggie, biggie deal. So it's wonderful to know that there's something that we can offer the gals. Not just surgery, you know, please. I will take it all away. You won't have any more trouble. Oh, yes, you will. The trouble almost gets worse when you have a hysterectomy or phorectomy. All hell breaks loose. And this, the gynees never tell you that. They never warn the ladies. Anyway, we're going to do some before and afters, yeah? Yeah, we're going to do some before and afters. They're a little, um, some of them are a little gruesome, uh, but they're not the worst that we've seen. Uh, but they show um, wound healing, essentially, injury healing, and the rapid speed at which it's done. Um, and so these images, really what I want people to remember as they're looking at these is that this is surface healing, but the same kind of healing happens inside the body as well. I think wound healing just demonstrates the ability of microcurrent to heal on a cellular level and to repair the body, even in some of the worst cases that there really are out there. Right. Now, and, and remember the profession in uh, Malaysia, wasn't it? Ask your dad to do a wound healing book. Yes. Uh, uh, by the way, for Rob's dad, uh, John Hache, was a, you know, a world leading uh, physician, marvelous man. Uh, and we became great friends as a result of microcurrent therapy, in effect, didn't we? Yeah. yeah anyway, let's go. So this is a Russian guy got his very badly blasted with what was, this was welding, wasn't it? This was well, yeah, so he had an electric arc welder and it blew up in his hand. 20% um, of his body was covered in burns. And I actually think someone, I saw a question pop up in the Q&A about burns. So this is probably going to answer that question. Um, but you can see that the, the person ended up, uh, they were very inflamed. So their face was extremely um, swollen on that side and very burnt. And their hand obviously took the brunt of that as well. Well, treatment started on the second day, so the day after this happened. And four days later, you can see that the swelling has started to go down, but the damaged tissue has already kind of started to heal. Um, I was, I'm also surprised he's able to grow a beard again, uh, <laughs> because you'd think that the, all the follicles would have been destroyed and scarred. Yeah, um, and then again, another, I think it's 10 days later after that, um, he looks we should like explain the dates, Rob. This is European date. Oh, okay. I'm so used so to that. That's what we do in Canada. The first date is the 24th of October. The middle yeah. date is the 28th of October. And then on the right, you've got the 7th of November. So it's barely two weeks. Look at the tremendous yeah. 10 days or so. And I always think, you know, yes, his face looks completely normal again. Um, and it's also, it's like half the size, right? All of that inflammation that he had from the explosion has kind of reduced in in roughly that like kind of two week period. 
Right. Yeah, he'd look okay again to a to a gal or a woman, wouldn't he? Yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and then this poor guy. You know, I think the newspaper bit's funny. Let's <laughs> explain this one. You know. Yeah. So he uh, so he had one of our home devices, and uh, this was I was I was just graduating high school when this happened, actually. But um, he was biking. And he got rear-ended by a car and it just left him on the side of the road. Um, like he got knocked off his bike and essentially you can see his face there. Looks so like he, a face plant and landing in the ditch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, it was rough. And he had uh, essentially what he did is he went in and he just started doing treatment. He, I think he tried calling my dad and he was away, couldn't reach him. But it was, it was close to the time when cell phones were rarer. Um, and so he started using the device on his face. Um, and he decided he was going to grab a newspaper. You can see blood on the newspaper on the first day. <laughs> grab his newspaper. I see the date, though. But... Yeah, I, I zoomed in on them because I was asking my dad about it. So it was July 1st was the first newspaper right. in 2008, I think. And then um, July 4th is the next newspaper. My and God. you can see... Four the... days. Yeah, four days. And you can see this. There's a bit of damage to his eye um, from the, the the trauma, I would say. But it's open and he could see out of it and the swelling is just melted away and he looks normal again, right? Practically, a little bit of bruising. Yeah. Um, so extremely, extremely impressive case. Um, and one we haven't shown in a little while, but one that I, I was just kind of blown away by. Yeah, yeah, me too. And then I'm more so even this one. This is frostbite. Uh, frostbite, there isn't much you can do. You've got to amputate. The it will turn gangrenous if you don't do something because the tissue is effectively dead. So amputation is the only cure, really. I mean, hyperbaric oxygen, I suppose, might have a chance, but I've never read papers on that. I don't think they've tried it. It's usually amputation, and this is a guy down, scheduled amputation for a severe case of frostbite. But he was lucky you found your dad, right? Yeah, yeah, the base medic, it was a military exercise when it happened, and the base medic actually had our devices, and so he dragged the guy over to my dad, um, and this was on a Friday for his first treatment, and he was scheduled for the amputation on Monday, so my dad did a treatment or two on him and then sent him home with a device, and uh, four days later, so on the Monday, he came over, and these were the pictures, so you can see the black dead tissue has been restored to life and he's still got a little bit of that ulcer on his ankle to work on um on his heel sorry but it's <laughs> definitely um way better and he got to keep his toes because that was definitely the the idea was those toes are gonna have to go right lucky guy oh uh, uh, we didn't have any more for him anyway it, you know four days come on you know he could save uh doomed toes in just four days my god yeah. And this is pretty grim and pretty horrific. Uh, a doctor sees this all the time in the emergency room, but uh, not nice. But you get the point. I mean, from the left to the right, in how many days is this? I think this was a week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, you know, get, we should have taken follow up at a month because she probably wouldn't know that she'd even been injured. Yeah. Look at that. How did she get that way? The, the left um, hand. Should, I, yeah. I was told it was a fall. Um, oh. You know, nurse, you know, there's nursing home falls scraped and then th there's there's slower healing as we age. Right. That's what the, part yeah. of the problem is. Diabetes slows healing um, and it's just faster. Um, but it was definitely looking really rough. Yeah. Um, compared to how it was about a week later. Yeah, it's a bit horrific. Let's get past that one. <laughs> now, you said you were going to talk about CRP. This is pain on steroids. It's hell, CRP. Yeah, it's rated as um, as being more painful than cutting off a finger without anesthetic all the time. And you can see, also on the left is his hands. He got broke. What normally happens with this condition is an injury or a surgery that then the body almost snapshots that moment of that injury of the pain and it doesn't forget it so with this guy he had broken a finger i believe and so you can see the swollen red hand it's be his left hand but it's on the right side there that's what crps limbs tend to look like they swell up they're bright burning red and they are hot in pain all the time so this guy actually used our uh, mama bear device the evolution um, and within the first week of doing treatments, he got his inflammation down, the pain flare settled down, and his hands started to look the same. To this day, I still hear from this, uh, this couple um, down in New Zealand, and they, uh, he's still 
pain-free, no more flare-ups of C CRPS. It's just, it been absolutely amazing. And it's one of many patients with this condition that we have worked with. I hope he's learned to stop biting his nails. That's a risk of inflammation. <laughs> now, listen, folks, we've put in some pet stories. We all like cuddly pets, but it's not that. It's because there can't be any sort of... Uh, uh what's what would the word you know like influence psychologically the person's prepared to believe in the treatment uh you know the placebo type effect the, the animal is helpless so if it's working on animals it works so yeah. that's why we've got these stories what's what's the story of freddy so freddy was a stray dog that was found um with a broken leg in israel actually um and the lady was one of like two people that had a device out there uh, so she found it and um, it was brought to a vet that she was willing to work with her on doing the treatment. Uh, so there, there was a chance that they were going to cut his leg off. That's kind of what they thought because he had this compound fracture. It was very bad. Um, and she started to do treatment with the microcurrent device. Um, and I, I think it took a couple of weeks. But if you head to the next uh, slide, yeah. you could see that he got to keep his leg. Um, we have a video of him just running around as well, all happy. Um, but this was uh, microcurrent therapy without a device, enhanced by our attachments as well. It was a, a PEMF pad um, that we plug into the device. And these were what enabled her to save his leg. I think she adopted him in the end. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no great. longer astray. Yeah, the the Chi Wei pad, that that's kind of a think of a a, a, bro a rebroadcaster is the best way to think of that. It takes the the Vatsia signal and plays it out into the tissues like radio waves. Very clever. This poor horse, my God. Um, yeah, this uh, this there's there's a lot of horse ones we've seen as well. But yeah, this was a barn. A, Pearl was the horse's name. She escaped from a barn during a storm and got caught in a barbed wire fence oh. and just kept trying to get out. So it ripped and ripped and ripped. So um, the tissue damage, I mean, didn't look good, right? And horses are, um, you know, extremely expensive animals and extremely expensive animals to treat. There was some concern that this was just not going to be solved. Um, now this treatment. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, no worries. <laughs> this treatment to get to the point on the right did take about three weeks, but that is a huge wound being shrunk, like with daily treatment, right? That would be uh, bigger than a hand, wouldn't it? That. Oh that, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely bigger than a hand. And uh, yeah, again, the healing process is just amazing to see. You see as well that the dead tissue. So I we considered this frostbite on the left. You can see the black on the edges. Mm. Uh, and it was necrotic would be the word, not frostbite. Yes, necrotic frost. tissues. <laughs> All right, let's go and talk about Lexi. I love this little doggy. <laughs> I never <laughs> met him actually, but I know his story for ten years. Yeah, yeah, he has. He has unfortunately passed away, but he was, uh, I think, sixteen. Um, this was when he was two. Um, he was a very, very young puppy, and he jumped. This is a small dog problem. Jumped off a couch, slipped on a hardwood floor, and broke his his uh, his leg. And um, this was at a time when was, I remember when we took him to the vet to for the triage, they were like, you're going to, it's probably going to have to cut his leg off. It's probably not going to heal. Um, but we got him to bandage it up and we started doing treatment. Actually, a lot of the treatment happened on the opposite leg and uh, as well as on above the area too. And uh, yeah, he ended up uh, walking normally uh, for the rest of his uh, remaining 14 years. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah very, very happy dog. Lovely story. All right. So let's uh, explain what it means to uh, own one of these devices and be able to use them. Uh, ending up with an offer, by the way. But anyway, follow. Th we mentioned the three devices, but you, it comes with so much more than that. So explain it's, this. To walk us through this, Rob, please. Absolutely. And, you know, the big thing is that um, we came to the realization that we had these kind of miraculous machines and we were sending them to people that wanted them. And then people were looking at them and saying, how do I use this? So this is uh, this has been our answer to that. We created the Hashay Protocol private membership named after my parents. Um, first off, you get a video library. Um, you also get treatment coordinator support, access to our private Facebook group, totally optional. I get it if you don't like Facebook, um, it's not required. Um, live crash courses with me as well and live Q and A's with myself and my dad, Dr. Hashe. Um, right. There's also a lot of other- You used the word quite glibly there, you know, treatment coordinator support. What does that mean? 
Yeah, so I, we actually have individual slides for each one of these. Oh, oh we do, right. Okay, yeah. let's go on then, yeah. Yeah, so the video library, uh, so this has grown over the years. There's close to 400 videos in there. You, you log in, it's a separate website. You can use it on your phone as well as an app. You type in what you're looking for, um, fibromyalgia, hypertension, scar tissue, and up pops a video. You watch it. The video has a combination of slides and live demo of how to do the treatment. Um, and so you can rewatch those things over and over again as much as you need to get that information. But beyond that, we have the treatment coordinators as well. Um, and this is born out of the idea that people will are individuals and will work better with a person in most cases, because there's a lot of questions and moving parts in any kind of treatment plan what your medical history is, and a video can't take that into consideration. Well, our treatment coordinator team can. Our coordinator team is three people at the moment, um, each dealing with thousands of clients. I've probably overworked them a little bit. Uh, but their goal is to work with you to build a private treatment plan for you, your, your pets, your spouse, your kids, your family. That is their goal. They will correspond by email. And if they can't respond to you by email, if it's not working out, they will even book calls with you and get on the phone and work through things. They right. are trained in our protocols. Um, and if they struggle with anything, if it's too complex, I take over. So you're going to end up having that support every step of the way to make sure that you can use this device successfully. Rob, you didn't mention it, but also health practitioners will be able to refer to yes. the treatment coordinator, yeah, to get some ideas. You know, when you're, right. if you're say, a chiro or a doctor, you, you're not sure of yourself at the beginning because you haven't got the experience. These people have, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. And we used to have a separate division for that, but we kind of combined them all together. So the treatment coordinators all know how to deal with patients and with your patients if you're a, a practitioner. Right. The uh, Yeah. Yeah, the Facebook group, I mean, this is not for everyone. People, A lot of people don't like Facebook. It seems more and more every year. Uh, but it's a social platform group that we use. It's a group that includes holistic health practitioners, dietitians, dentists, physios, home users, some of which have way more knowledge than, uh, than most of the <laughs> practitioners um, and yeah. beyond. And you can just post questions. People will respond. But it, it leads to a really diverse healing experience and to a lot of breakthroughs and discoveries. I mean, working on dental cavitations was something we never would have considered until a dentist was like, hey, this is what I'm doing. And now we have people that are actually doing that on their cavitations as well. So very exciting stuff. Yeah. And then a crash course. <laughs> yeah. If you want to spend time listening to me drone on and on and on, crash courses are for you. Um, <laughs> we do these live lessons essentially are designed, picked by the uh, people in the community as to what they want. Um, normally complex topics that we wouldn't talk about publicly. We've done one on like COVID, cancer, um, vaccinations, things like that. Um, and really it's a guided treatment plan from step one, to the end, answering questions as we go, just like you would in a classroom setting. Um, these are 45 minutes to an hour, and all the recordings of the previous ones are in the library as well, but you can attend live, and, and we start everything from the ground up. So whether you just got your device that day and you showed up for a live Q and a live crash course, you'd be able to do everything in that course, because I will step-by-step -step walk, walk through those step, uh, the uh, protocol steps. Yeah. Right. And the monthly Q&A. Wow. Monthly, the monthly Q&A. Yeah. It, these these used to be really packed with people. But now that we have the treatment coordinators, people get their questions answered like all the time, like a day, same day, next day. Um, so we don't have as many questions, but it's still fun to do these and just sit down and, and have conversations with people. Um, you know, when my dad's able to attend them with me, people often ask homeopathy questions because he's a licensed homeopath. Um, so we kind of just, you know, go, have a fun time, talk about what's coming up and uh, what we're doing and answer any questions that people have. Right. Rob, I'm sure you're selling this for at least $2,000, if not $5,000. Yeah. we. That's we, not true, is it? <laughs> no, no. And, and this, the membership itself does have a retail price of $2,000, um, but it's actually free to anyone that is uh, purchasing a device on this. Uh, special offer and it's free for life right uh, 
Okay. Do anyone that alive. <laughs> <laughs> these are approved yeah. um, worldwide? Uh, we actually have the, I still have to add that on there, the TGA as well, which is New Zealand and Australia, but they're FDA approved. They are Health Canada approved. They are CE Mark approved for Europe and TGA approved for New Zealand and Australia. So wherever you are in the world, you're looking to use this technology, uh, know that the health authorities are have regulated it and are behind it. The uh, They're cleared for different things in different places. And I often get this question, but it doesn't matter whether you're in America, Canada, Europe, you're going to get the same device. So in Europe, the devices are approved for vagus nerve. They're approved for neurofeedback. Uh, in America, they're approved for treatment of pain. So, but whether you're in America or not, you're going to get the same device someone in Europe gets. So you have that capacity to do all of the protocols. It's not restricted based on region. Yeah, so it's called off-label, isn't it? Off-label. It's a drug. You can do what it's not necessarily approved for, as long as it makes sense anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Now, your personal guarantee here is, this is good. I like this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we have a 30-day guarantee from the date the device is received. Um, so that means if there's a shipping delay or you're not missing out on three days, five days, whatever. Um, the date the device is received, you can be returned within 30 days of that date. You just have to let us know you want to return it. Um, there is a 15% restocking fee. We don't ask questions as to why you're returning it. Um, you know, you can tell us, but it's no questions asked. Um, the restocking fee, I always like to explain because people wonder why it's there. Um, we don't have the ability to resell these devices if you return them. They're considered medical devices. As I said, they're regulated. Part of that means that they are assigned by serial number to the person that buys them the day they buy them, the day it ships. So once it's shipped, we have assigned that to you. We've reported that to the authorities. They have it on record. They need to. Um, so when one person returns a device, we actually have to destroy the machine. So we would end up having to go through a process where we send it back to the factory. The factory then registers it as intake and destroys it for scrap. So the 15% restocking fee is a way of just trying to cover some small amount of the costs that it takes uh, to go through that loss of a machine. Obviously, it doesn't come close, but you know, I tell people that so they understand why we have it there. Um, but encouraging for most people we have a very very low return rate on the devices it's actually it used to be about one percent with the treatment coordinators it's 0.01 percent um for last year so 0.01 percent of people returned anything um, because within those 30 days you will notice the difference you will start to see that your body is changing and healing um, and, you know, that's a great sign that you're on the path to recovery. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> right. So, All right. so who's ready to get started? Everybody, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I would hope so. I hope so, because everyone wants to get better, right? And uh, yeah, we know, like, as a recap, right, we know that if we reduce or eliminate inflammation, we can resolve chronic pain chronic disease within the body. We also know that harnessing the frequencies and the energy within our bodies is the answer to do that. Let's naturally get rid of that inflammation. So the next step is gonna to be to look at the devices. Yeah, let's get one. <laughs> so we have a little breakdown of what these can do because the confusing part can be what, well, what's the difference between this one and this one. So the Avazia Life Genesis is our baby bear, as Keith said. Um, this has four programs in it. It can deal with localized chronic pain. So you can work on your, your wrist pain, your shoulder pain, different areas. Um, it can deal with scar tissue and it can heal the body. Um, it can do some regeneration as well, like the wound healing we saw. It does have biofeedback. It can do the acupuncture points and it has an automatic treatment mode for people that are really tech nervous. Um, it's not really necessary anymore, but it's a way of just applying the device and having the device do the treatment and then tell you the treatment is finished. Um, so what the Genesis can't do, I won't be caught ever not saying what it can't do because this one always bites me. Is, uh, there, a slide, is there a slide for this? No, there isn't. There isn't. This, okay. The Genesis cannot do vagus nerve stimulation. We know we talked about that a lot. It doesn't have the right programs. So I'm saying it now and forever. It cannot do it. Um, now we can move to the next slide. Right. <laughs> so the evolution, yay. The Evolution. This one is probably our most popular machine. Um, it's got eight programs. 
it can do vagus nerve stimulation. It does everything the Genesis does. It can work on the eye conditions, vagus nerve, improve sleep and stress. It has gamma, so it can do the, uh, the mental health programs as well. Um, and really, it can get through all of the things that people need. Like 80% of people are probably going to be pretty solid with this device because of all of the features that it has. And then the daddy. And then the pinnacle. So eight programs was a lot. Um, this has 70 programs, seven zero. It jumps up to have it all. Um, this device has programs for pretty much everything. It has automatic treatment modes. It has 12 of them. Uh, that actually will simultane will, will seamlessly switch between different frequencies needed to solve a problem. So nerve damage, um, it will jump from two hertz to a thousand hertz. You won't feel the difference. And then it will tell you on the screen, hey, treatment is done. It really autopilots a lot of the harder protocols. Um, it also has a diagnostic screen to evaluate tissue. So you can actually touch the device to the skin and it's going to give you a number. That number will tell you if this tissue is inflamed, degenerative, or normal, and it takes less than two seconds to do that. It will work on everything that the evolution can do um, and really enhance all of those things. It has the programs for cosmetic treatment, for beauty. It has programs to deal with uh, body toning. Uh, you know, it has chakra programs, specific ones for acupuncture. Uh, it's got it all. It, this is the one that we often call the hospital in the hand. Isn't that right, Keith? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you didn't mention it, but brainwave frequencies, you could yes. switch on uh, theta, alpha, or beta if you want to wake up. <laughs> yep, yep, it's got them all. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk money. Yeah, let's, let's talk money, the, yeah. All of these things, the, the costs, they're all mitigated by the fact you can share them among people. You're not buying it just for one person like you are a typical medical treatment. You know, you spend a fortune and it's only one patient. These yeah. you can treat everybody in your family and the neighbors if you want. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. And and this, um, you know, we'll we'll break this down as we go through, but really what you're getting here, the first, this is one of three, right? This is the baby bear device. Um, so this is 795. All the prices are in USD. There is a shipping charge, um, but there's there's not taxes if you're in the States. The only place we're able to tax is, is Canada. Um, it does have the lifetime membership with it. So you get all of the support we talked about, the lifetime support, the treatment coordinators, the videos, um, the Q&As, all of that for free forever um, for the rest of your life or the rest of mine, we'll say. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so the Genesis has those four modes. Remember, it can't do Vegas Nerve. But this is the deluxe kit. So it comes with the probes that you're going to want, the Y probe, the pen probe, um, some conductive pads in a case. Um, it's all set up. Um, and as Keith mentioned, it's small, right? And battery operated. So two AA batteries that should last uh, two to six weeks with daily use. Um, so you're going to be able to use this for a while. So normally the whole package here would be about $2,700 with the lifetime support. It's 795 to anyone that is interested. Right, Mummy Bear. Mummy Bear, the evolution. Um, again, most popular device for sure. Uh, so this one, it has more attachments, you'll notice. This is just because we've included the attachments in the kits that the device is most likely to be able to use. Like there's no point including the brush um, or the brain uh, or the ear clips for the brain stuff in the Genesis because it can't do the brain stuff. But you get extra attachments in this kit here. Um, and this is pretty stuffed full already. Uh, Vegas nerve pads, ear clips, uh, pads for the brain, for the PTSD protocol, the brush, uh, as well as the Y probe, the pencil, the machine itself. Um, we're also including a couple of extra bonus items in certain devices. So the evolution here as well includes a mitochondrial recharge kit, which usually is 135 bucks. This allows you to reduce the time of the mitochondrial recharge protocol by about 50%. You're not uh, showing that, are you, Rob? Oh, we my... don't have the picture there. It's just yeah. listed in the, um, in yeah. the, in the list. Uh, yeah. But essentially, it's silver gloves and socks. They're threaded with silver so that you can put them on and then hands-free do treatment with the mitochondrial recharge. Um, so that's included. And, of course, the lifetime membership as well. So... Normally, all that together would be about $4,100. It's 1995 plus shipping at the moment. Right. 
And then the pinnacle. And then the pinnacle. So the pinnacle includes so much stuff that I can't even see the full list on the uh, on my Zoom. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> off on the bottom. Um, but it, it it takes the uh, the evolution kit and it adds more to it. A tongue stimulator for treating the brain um, and for dental treatments. A face probe for cosmetic. Um, and the mitochondrial recharge kit is all included in that kit as well. Um, I, we have to kind of hold it down as we zip it closed uh, when we pack it up because it's that full of stuff. Um, people here as well will also be receiving that by the pinnacle, a Chi Wave pad. I mentioned this um, earlier. This is the PEMF pad. You plug this into the microcurrent machine and you convert the microcurrent into PEMF. You can have the best of both worlds that way. Um, that's usually $445 that's free as well. So including the lifetime membership too, the pinnacle would normally be $73.95 um, and it's $49.95 instead. Um, you know, these, these devices all have a two-year warranty and then after the warranty's expired, they're still repaired for a fee. I think it's $195 if anything goes wrong and they're serviced in the US as well. So you're going to have this for for life really like these devices do not fail we better say that this what this for health professionals this is the model you really need all the business works and the things it does i mean you're going to be able to uh charge for your services so you can do amazing wonderful things you really need the full-on kit i think so health professional and we've got to warn you folks i mean it's temp might be tempting to go from the middle model and a lot of people do, and rightly so, but we get an astonishing number of requests to upgrade. And we say, oh, yes. I should have bought a better one. <laughs> we do. And, you know, people will find, I find some people will, they want the best of the best. And they just want to be able to know that they can tackle any issue at all. And for them, the pinnacle is the obvious choice. They're like, it's, a, it's an investment in, you know, not having to spend money on medical bills really in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, if you have a heart attack or something crazy, just think how much you're going to save. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I think on the next page, we have all of them lined up. All um, lined up? Okay, there yeah. we go for compare. Um, so they're all lined up there. And uh, you can see at the top of the screen, there's the link. And we're going to have that on the next slide as well. Um, this this is exclusive to this webinar. So if you go to the santashop.com, you have to do forward slash KSM for Keith Scott Mumby. It can be uppercase or lowercase now. It used to be uppercase only, but it works uh, both ways. Uh -huh. um, but if you don't type that in, you will not find these products. These are exclusive to people that go through that link. And so then if you go on and then order the device just off our store, then you will not get all of the bonus items. So make sure you type in the santashop.com forward slash KSM. Now this is a limited time offer as well. Um, I've given until the 26th of February, which is a little over a week. Um, it gives you till Monday the 26th at uh, midnight. Um, this is when we'll be taking these offers down, um, but they'll be available until then. And uh, we do have stock of everything ready to go. So you just remember that that unique link there, and you can just uh, click any of the products on there and uh, and get started with microcurrent. Yes, great. Well, I'm I'm going to stop the main recording and restart for the Q and A session. Remember, we said we'd do that. But if you if you think, wow, you know, I must get one of these, uh, go over there now. And there is a, a chat box. You know, if you hover over it, it'll open a panel, and you can ask more questions. Soon as we're done, I think I'm right that Rob will be running over there to start answering questions. Yep. Poor guy. I, I, you know, I can go and have some coffee when we're done. He gets it in the neck. <laughs> hours, of, hours of questions. Anyway, so uh, that's that's it for the presentation. Let's go on to the Q&A now. And I hope you've given us a whole, whole bunch of questions. I'm going to leave this screen with the link, the link in the middle there in red. Uh, I'm going to leave that up and uh, we'll... Uh, Take it from there. Okay, so 